of spiritual empowerment. Seven mysteries that God has given us in this series. These are the truths that control strange results that help ordinary people to take advantage of the grace of God and rise to enviable positions in destiny where they are placed in positions where they can make kingdom come a reality and then they can improve their lives I guarantee you in the name of the Lord you trade these laws you will walk wonders in your life you will stand back and watch like a man playing a chess you will play life like a chess and then you will see that success is very intentional. The law of spiritual empowerment. Every destiny and every divinely ordained assignment will require spiritual empowerment for its fulfillment. If you're writing, please write this down. Every destiny and every divinely ordained assignment will require spiritual empowerment for its fulfillment every destiny and every divinely ordained assignment will require spiritual empowerment for its fulfillment next point you cannot produce supernatural extraordinary results without the backing of the spirit realm how true Write this down and please look up. We're wrapping up. You cannot produce supernatural, extraordinary results without the backing of the spirit realm. Please look up. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. There is only so much men can do in the strength of the flesh. There is a level of results that if you ever see a man cross, it tells you the realm of the spirit came to assist him. Politically, spiritually, in ministry in business for instance if you suddenly hear if the papers carry a report tomorrow that Joshua Selman has become the richest man in Nigeria none of you will say what did I do you will say where did I go to they will say come I know you just talk to me where did you go to if this one is not this kind of result is not what did you do is where did you go to There are results that are not about what you have done. It's where you have gone to. Listen to what I'm telling you. There are results in ministry that is not just what you have done. It's who is assisting you. There has to be a spirit. Either an evil spirit assisting you or the Holy Ghost. But you are not alone for sure. Not for that kind of result. There are political results. There are intellectual results. There are financial results. You cannot produce beyond a threshold unassisted. No, sir. We study your results and we know immediately. We can investigate what spirit. But just for seeing the result, we know that there has to be a spirit behind you. No. Your songs can't go to the nation just like that. Your sermons cannot reach the whole globe just like that. No, sir. The earth is too busy. What made you keep their attention and compel them to pay attention to the investment of the spirit upon you? There has to be a spirit backing. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Please write this down. We're working with time. Spiritual empowerment is a non-negotiable requirement if you truly desire to fulfill your destiny and serve the purposes of God. Spiritual empowerment is a non-negotiable requirement. Please listen to me. I'm not just talking to men of God. I'm talking to anyone at all who desires to excel non-negotiable requirement we call it the anointing not an 
anointing the anointing the anointing is an ordination into God's dimension of results the anointing is a legitimization to begin to produce results that are higher than your human capacity please listen we're wrapping up this series Psalm 92 and verse 10. Please help us very quickly. We have to pray now. But my horn, Joshua Selman, thou shalt exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and indeed I shall be anointed with fresh oil. With fresh oil. With fresh oil. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth isn't it amazing that the word had to be anointed the word had to be anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about with that anointing producing results that humans don't produce producing results that humans don't produce he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him let me tell you this the realm of the spirit is alive and strong it only honors those who operate legitimately the anointing of the spirit upon you legitimizes your operation it grants you capacity to produce results that are higher than your age higher than your level of educational qualification hear me there are things men cannot do it's not within the realm of men a man cannot change another man the world will not pay attention just because of oratory it takes more than that the world will not pay attention to you there are many people doing what you are doing but there is a grace that separates it brands you and compels your generation to hear your voice let me tell you this there are great ministers of the gospel here in worship I spotted Solomon Lange here and um, you know they will tell you listen very carefully prosper is here and i'm sure a, a number of them are scattered there's a nollywood actor who came out with his wife here there are members of parliament here they will tell you in truth some of them may have had opportunities where people told them can i help you i want to take you somewhere and they say no 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 but just because you said no does not mean someone said no satan took jesus to a mountain and showed him the glory and said i have been here a long time since you threw me from heaven save yourself this stress all the kings they submit to me just bow to me and i will give you the keys it's not only jesus who has been taken to that mountain there are many who have gone there i want your songs to go around the earth just bow to me and they bow and receive that key no matter what they sing the world must hear them they know that is not what they are singing they know that there is the backing of the spirit a spirit brothers and sisters what we celebrate today that we call koinonia it will be flattery to believe that the man behind this is the one you are seeing no no there is only so much a man can do I have tasted of the power of the Holy Ghost I know what the anointing of the spirit can do I have seen God's power spiritual empowerment lift businessmen I have seen spiritual empowerment bless people that the anointing can make your destiny helper to not sleep and get up and think about you he does not know what on the, what on the influence behind him the grace that heals I was not born prophesying no I was not born giving a word of knowledge There are thousands following this right now all across the world all across the globe connecting from all continents there are people who there are whole churches now i say this with every sense of humility there are churches for decades in the u.s in europe all they play for their midweek service are these teachings they sit down as a congregation 
These are not ministries under this ministry. These are independent ministries. I don't know them. Brothers and sisters, this is more than physics and maths. This is more than science. This is a technology of God's anointing upon the lives of men. Hear me. There are, demographically speaking, there are about 3.2 million people in Abuja. Men are too busy to focus on you. There must be something on your head that isolates you. We're about to pray. I know that with the time is gone, but please don't be in a hurry. There's something you must receive. When God was sending me to ministry, I prayed a prayer and I said, Lord, please do not send me with just a sermon. My background may not be able to provide the kind of advantage that I need in ministry. Even though my grandfather was a man of God, but I did not grow up having men of God around who can say, okay, this is our son. Go and preach in 10 places so that they will know you. There are people who come from this background. We know ourselves. We are products of God's mercy. Oh, but when that oil comes on you, my goodness, my God, that charm-like operation of the anointing, from where you are, you begin to rise. Just when you think you are done, God says, I'm not done. The anointing. I wish I had the liberty to share testimonies with us. The things that this grace can do. You came here tonight and you have learned these six laws. But hear me. There are some of you as you are standing right now. You are the first person in your family to even get this far. But hear me. I love my nation Nigeria I love Africa but I want to be honest with you living in today's world our world today has been marred with prejudices of tribe prejudices of religion prejudices of region are we together prejudices of your continent there are too many disadvantages by default how do you think you're going to navigate your way using the natural sequence of things your lifetime will not be enough for that lifting and i said lord would you grant that this grace from heaven that can come on an individual and turn his life around i look at my life today and on one hand i am grateful but on the other hand i fear god We're about to pray. We're wrapping up this series. It won't be long. Just five minutes and we're done. Listen to me. I respect the fact that you are a CEO. But if the only thing in that company is business ideas, you are in trouble. Not in today's world. God is calling on you and saying, will you allow me? Will you allow me come into partnership with you? By sending my anointing. There are families, all that you have are good people in the family. Goodness is not enough. You need the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The grace of God. Solomon Lange sang it so powerfully. He said, this grace of God is a thing of wonder. It's true. I have seen what God has done in my life. I submit to you dear people of God the whole world is watching and I apologize if ever I sound arrogant but I have stood before kings I know what it means to be honored God has helped me I don't serve God today because of what to eat I know what the anointing of the Holy Spirit can do but listen to me at this point in my life my joy is not myself and my results again no you get to a point where God has been too faithful to you you are not looking for results for yourself again. Your joy is to see what God has done in your life, reproduced in the life of everyone. This is why the Lord granted grace to take this series. Please listen to me. Dear CEO, oil and gas 
construction do you not know that there are many files upon that table what makes you believe yours will be preferred because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows are you ready to pray you are going to immerse everything that is a concern in your life under the influence of the anointing it's truly time for us to rise in one minute i leave you with the maker of your destiny cry before god the god of all flesh lift your voice and pray please pray we have just five minutes pray lord you have brought me here tonight to lift me pray for your ministry pray for your job the power of the holy ghost the supernatural advantage upon your life someone is praying someone is praying the overflow someone is praying online hallelujah now listen to me one song by this man of God a queer man the anointing of the spirit came upon that song and God took him and his song has been a blessing all around the globe help them please minister Solomon Lange is here that song sang his songs on the grace of God and released it you thought you were just listening to music but there was a grace that took that song I remember I was one time it was Nathaniel Bassi who was telling me of a few years not very far nobody knew him I saw one of my photos you know all these photos when you are starting ministry that when you see is I saw what I was wearing I looked at myself I was almost going to say where am I hear me let no man despise you there is an anointing that can come are you ready to pray power from on high rest upon my life rest upon my life rest upon my ministry in the name of Jesus rest upon my career someone is praying Empowerment, the capacity to produce God's dimension of results in ministry, in business, in politics. Oh, dear politician, it will take more than votes and money for you to sit on that throne. Oh, dear career person. It will take more than the passage of time for you to excel. Please pray. Hallelujah. Please look up. There are different kinds and different anointings. There is a grace for favor. There is a grace for speed. There is a grace for wealth and abundance. There really is a grace for that. There is a grace for leadership. People don't just listen to you because you are right. They listen to you because the grace to compel them to hear you is there. 
It's called the hear ye him anointing. There is the grace for influence. There is a grace for miracles, signs and wonders. You don't just pray for the sick. You don't just prophesy, except if you are lying. There is the grace for influence, secular influence. That in an environment like the judiciary, like, like, like parastatals, God can lift you. Daniel had such a grace and through the reign of three kings, he was still seated. One more time, pray. Father, in my family, in my ministry, I obtain grace, fresh grace for the new season. Tired of natural living. Tired of ministry naturally. Tired of business naturally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen very carefully. Next week Sunday is a miracle service for me. And I'd like you to come with your heart desperate. One of the things that we're going to be receiving in that miracle service, as God grants grace, I will be calling specific people with proven track records in certain fields to release upon us the grace that took them there, where God brought them, whether it is ministry, whether it is career. Anointings are transferable. What is on you is what controls what is around you. But for tonight, let me speak over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I decree and declare every gate that has refused to answer to your destiny, use these mysteries as keys and I declare that you will swing open those gates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare everyone here who has experienced a slow place, very slow pace of your progression in life. It's like you are moving but you are not moving. I declare acceleration for you by the Spirit. I will keep praying this prayer as long as I live until I see it manifest in the lives of people. The grace for visibility and influence. The grace that can make the nation and a city to see what you represent and to place a demand upon you. May that grace come upon your life now. May that grace come upon your life now. The anointing that drives men to the secret place, to the place of prayer, the place of fasting, the place of an encounter with the world. May that grace rest upon you now. The mantle of honor that makes you preferred. In the name that is above all names, I call upon the God of my covenant. May it rest upon you. Listen, for some of you before Sunday miracle service, you will come and stand here testifying of the wonder working power of Jesus Christ. Everyone ordained to hold your hands in this season and to lift you wherever they are in this city Abuja and the six geopolitical zones of this nation i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i call them to your life now i call them to your life now i call them to your life now and finally i pray for you 
in the name of Jesus as you go back to listen to this series part one part two part three everything needed that you have missed in the name of Jesus Christ may the Holy Ghost bring it to your remembrance I declare upon you go and excel you become a sign and a wonder go and return with tears some results in the name of Jesus and whilst you are going may the angels assigned to defend the revelations you know may they walk with you I cast every spirit and every power that will want to fight you no power in existence will fight your rising you are an ambassador of the kingdom representing the purposes of God not just spiritually politically in influence business the media go and raid go and excel use this mystery as keys open ancient doors for yourself and for your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus father we give you praise we decree and declare that Jesus and him alone be glorified please listen to me do well whilst you are preparing for the miracle service invite others come with your prayer request but more importantly I like you to come with a hunger to receive are we blessed have you been blessed tonight let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forever God bless you and see you on Sunday